Hey folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to our playthrough of Die by the Sword. When we last left off, we had just come through the uh, caves and killed a bunch of people on our uh, quest to save Maya, and uh, we were on a bit of a, a river ride on a raft with a couple kobolds. So let's see what happens. in this crate as uh, you recall and of course there's a trog like we saw in the uh, the cutscene this uh, kobold is not gonna fare very well I don't think but in the meantime I have a little bit of a confession to make I uh, said I was gonna do the, a lot of oh <laughs> I said I was gonna do this playthrough blind but uh, it's maybe not quite true um, the uh, the thing is I tried I really did like I tried to do the do the playthrough blind, but this level, you know, it's hard and the game is hard. And uh, I decided that it would be best to maybe not do it blind. Uh, I think, like, what I had before wasn't unwatchable, but when I played through this level the first time, it took a long time <laughs> just due to, like, a bunch of deaths and stuff like that. Hopefully, uh, the people who are where that raft is going don't notice those dead bodies. But uh, that, that uh, little diversion there will be important later. Now then, we have a few more shrogs to kill. And uh, one of them is going to be right down this way. I don't think we can get through this hole, by the way. I've tried. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to work. I think it's, I think it's for kobolds. It's a kobold-sized hole, um, as far as I can tell. So, uh, we'll just have to be content to pass it by. For the time being, anyway. Now then, we should have a guy coming up right around here somewhere. Yeah, right up here. And there he is. I don't know how we knew that we were here, but we've got uh, we've got some work to do. This uh, this this guy gave me a lot of trouble, and uh, it, like he just it's because he jumps around so much and he does a shitload of damage every single hit. And uh, I don't know that we can really block him at all, so um, it just makes it that much more challenging. We're doing okay at the moment, though, I think. If we can get one more good hit on him, uh, I think we'll, we're going to win. Yeah, there we go. All right, good, good, good. Okay. That fight went acceptably. <laughs> now then, uh, this guy over here, we're actually going to go ahead and save real quick. Uh, this guy over here, very much asleep, and we are going to endeavor to keep him that way. Just checking to see if there's anything in that little pool of water there. It doesn't appear that there is. But we want to go this way. The uh, the manual of the game mentions uh, three magic items. I can't remember what a couple of them are or what one of them is, but one is a ring and another is a gauntlet. And we want to keep our eye out for anywhere that those might be. Yeah, and we've got to come down this way and kill this fellow here. Actually, I guess this is maybe the Trog Queen or something. The uh, more accurate way to describe it, carting the uh, the eggs there, but uh, the uh, yeah she, she or he or it hits quite hard. Um, but I found this this guy to be actually a little bit easier than uh, than the other trogs. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why. There we go. Like we just got him right there or her, I guess. That seems to be a very that's a very uncomfortable position to be dead in, I feel like. <laughs> but, you know, on the other end, I don't know, it looks like, kind of like he's going or she's going down like a water slide or something like that, or maybe on a roller coaster. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, let's see. We came in here specifically for this, which is uh, one of the items I was talking about. So, uh, yeah, armor plus 30 percent, as you can see. And uh, as, as Enric said, the magic cock ring. We'll, uh, we'll be glad to have that, I'm sure. We're going to kill these eggs. Ah, there we go. There's a little guy in there. Look at that. I don't think he's he's aggressive either. I think he just follows us around. 
But we're gonna slaughter his uh, brothers and sisters here. Now then. Can we pick this guy up? No, I don't think so. But uh, yeah, this is I'm gonna call him Trogzy. He's gonna follow us around and uh, generally be useless, but uh, I think enemies will attack him, so I guess he could be a distraction at worst, but or at best, but uh, I guess that depends on your perspective if it's worst or best, if you want to try to keep him alive. I don't know if we get anything for doing so, but we'll, we'll try to not let him die, I suppose. Alright, we're going to come up here. Like I said, we're not going to fight that other trog. Uh, there's no reason to. It's just going to lead to us getting uh, our asses kicked, I think, mostly. We want to come around here, and we want to be very careful, because... Somewhere in here. Right. Ah, right there. You see them? You see them hiding behind the bush there? Yeah, we're gonna save real quick. We're gonna try to get that piece of meat first, though. I don't know if he's just setting a trap, because if he is, that's quite clever. But uh now we can uh now we can fight this guy with a little bit more confidence. Ooh, it was actually not the direction I was expecting for that jump. We can actually sever limbs from these guys, but I haven't had much success doing it. I, I did get a leg on one guy once, but um, that's it. <laughs> that's the best I've done. And uh, the arms, like, it's really difficult to aim these downward slashes. And it just seems like the, the, the mid-range slashes are just really effective because they, uh, they knock him... They knock people back, basically, which is uh, extremely useful. And we got a fish there, which is nice. So we're pretty beat up as it is. Magic, uh, magic healing fish. But, uh, let's see. Alright, we're gonna come through here. And, ah, yes, the waterfall. Uh, I did... The uh, Trogsy's just gonna fucking jump right in there. Uh, I, I looked down there. There's nothing down there. I'm gonna save, actually. But, as you might expect in a game like this... Oop, well, <laughs> we're going for a little bit of a swim. If we can get out of the fucking water, please, that would be lovely. There we go, alright. Yeah, as you would expect, uh, there's something cool behind the waterfall. Something very useful, in fact. It's this potion. We're gonna need the, that potion, because, uh, like I said, we were quite beat up. And I don't think there's anything else back here. So we're gonna just move on. And I think we should be able to make this jump over here. Uh, not quite. It's okay. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll just do it like that. And we'll do a fucking sweet-ass flip for no apparent reason. I didn't even know he could do that, or maybe I maybe I've seen it before and I forgot about it. But holy crap, Trogsy's gonna hang out uh, and go for a swim. That's fine. Oh, I forgot about this though. <laughs> We've got a little bit of a trap there. Um, we could skip that guy, uh, but I'll try to fight him. They're a little bit easier to fight when they're down in the pits here, um, just because they we can kind of knock them against the wall a little bit and. Um, they can't jump around as much, so... He's gotta be very close to dead, but so are we, I suspect, judging by the damage on us. Yeah. He had nothing, so it's just a trap. Um... We will... Come up here. Actually, I guess it's better to climb. Uh, we gotta get through... I think we can tease, tease these out. Yeah, there we go. And... Same with this guy. So we probably want to crouch a little bit, maybe. Actually, I don't think crouching matters, but yeah, there we go. All right, good. <laughs> yeah, those are uh, definitely, they definitely do not, not enough damage to kill us at our current HP value, so. All right, now we got some stuff we got to do over here. Uh, I'm going to try and get these orcs, um, but it's going to be difficult. We've got two orcs to fight in this room. How about the... Be cool if we could like decapitate someone or something, but uh, I don't know if we're gonna get the chance. Truth be told, the um, yeah, we're taking a bunch of damage here. There's actually, if we look around, if we can get these guys to leave us alone for for long enough, we can maybe pick up some uh, pick up some meat uh, somewhere around here. We may not get the chance though. I think uh, maybe this one? Yeah, there we go. There's some meat in that one. So we're gonna just... <laughs> we're just gonna do a little loop here. 
And uh, we'll try to pick that meat up without getting killed. There we go. And there's, I know there's, there's another meat in here somewhere. But uh, maybe this one will be enough to tide us over. We'll grab... Oh, give me that. All right. So we got, uh, we got the meat. There's another one in one of these little boxes. But it's going to be too difficult to get it while we're on the run. And there's the corpses from the raft. That's, a, that's the raft that we let through uh, just a moment ago. Now let's take a look at our enemies here. Uh, they're still in pretty good, uh, pretty good shape, both of them, unfortunately. Yeah, I think we're going to die here. So all that running around is going to be for naught. Um, what I'm going to try to do... I'm going to try and fight this guy first. And uh, see if we can make it so we only have one guy to fight. Guess not. All right. I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to do this in a specific way because there's a secret that we can go kind of pick up. Um, but it's not something we, we it's something that we would like to save if at all possible. Oh man, we just got wrecked there. Holy shit. I think we may not be able to. I'm going to try one or two more times here, but see if we can get some like Nope. <laughs> yeah, I don't even like I don't even know how he touched us there. All right. We're just we're just going to have to do this the uh the other other way, which is to say uh, I'm going to come over here and then uh we're going to attack these guys a little bit. And then we're just gonna get the fuck out of here. And uh, wait for this raft to go right over here. Like so. Oh, uh oh. Look at those sweet ass raft physics, though. I <laughs> think we can still jump up here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Up here, we've got a full healing potion, which is quite nice. And you can see this is, um, this is kind of where we started a little bit. But uh, now we have the task of getting back to the other bank. And uh, we actually may be able to just not even fight those orcs and just get the fuck out of here. It's a strategy, you know, that seems like it would be legitimate. But we'll see how we do. I think, we, yeah, this should be good. I think we, we made it far enough over. It's a little difficult to get out of the water over here. Um, but we managed, we actually managed quite nicely there. All right, let's see if we can fucking kill these jerk offs. Probably not. We're taking so much damage already. I have, I did kill these guys the first time that I went through here. Not, not like the first first time, but in the playthrough that I, the, the footage that I've decided to not use. Um, but uh, you take a, you take a lot of damage while you're doing it. No, that's not gonna work. It's, you gotta be able to get on this ledge here or else we won't be able to swim all the way across, unfortunately. And that should be good enough. Just barely, I think. No, but, uh, no swimming animation or anything fancy like that. And actually, we aren't even going to be able to fucking get out of the water here, are we? All right. It's super janky, like the, the swimming and ledge climbing and stuff in the water here. And like, that's not, not any better. <laughs> it's not helping. You should be able to get out of the water here, though. I think. I'm just gonna fucking load it again. Holy shit. Please, just fucking jump on the thing and I'm gonna save as soon as we get to the other side. This time. Uh, that's definitely not gonna make it. Like, it shouldn't be this hard just to fucking get across the river here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is looking good, this is looking good! Oh, okay, I think we I think we're gonna be okay. Maybe. Maybe. We gotta get a little farther up though. Okay, I'm gonna save here. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for this guy to do his thing. I'd love to knock him in the water. It'd make my life so much easier if he would, yeah, if these guys would get in the fucking water and just drown and become no longer alive. My my controller is freaking the fuck out though. And then we just like immediately die. They do so much damage. But I don't think the thing is like even if we put put this on Squire, I don't think it would matter. Like I just the, you just take so much damage regardless of uh regardless of what difficulty setting you're on. And like even with the the magic ring that we have, it's uh it doesn't seem to be making any difference for us. 
But uh, maybe I'm just, you know, maybe I'm wrong about that. All right. Yeah, we're just like dying so quickly to these guys. We should be able to do it, but it's going to take an immense amount of effort here. Like, we definitely did not get hit there, at least as far as I can tell, but we did. We shouldn't have, but we did. And this this one guy is almost dead, but so are we. Like, one 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 big axe hit will definitely be an end uh, to our little adventure here, I think. We actually got hit just barely in the, uh, in the head there. Yeah. I don't really know what to do here, um, other than just hack and slash away. Like, I'm not very good at chopping off limbs, I mean, as, as much as I've tried. Like, you can't one-shot a limb, as far as I can tell. Um, you certainly damage it, but that doesn't, like, slow them down. You know, <laughs> it's close, but no cigar doesn't doesn't quite do it. Oh, I think we did get a limb there, though. Yeah, we chopped off one of his arms. I'm gonna go over here, though. I'm gonna try to get this, uh... Oh, well, I was gonna try and get that, uh... Get that, um... What do you call it? Yeah, I was gonna try to get that turkey leg, but couldn't quite do it. A little bit too slow for some reason. Oh, we actually, I thought we got killed there again or like immediately. I love these guys. Just get in the fucking water and be dead. <laughs> like, we can't knock him in the water for some reason. Like, we knocked the, in the arena mode fight, we knocked the one guy into the, uh, into the lava, but, um, ooh, we gotta get out of here. This is actually interesting, we're still fighting in the water, but we, if we get knocked in the water, I think we're pretty much done, there's no way to get out. Uh, not, not easily enough. All those guys are wailing on you, which is fair, I suppose, I mean, we shouldn't endeavor to get knocked in the water, of course. But, uh, oh, we just decapitated a guy. Okay, 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 okay. Let me, I'm going to save it right here. <laughs> that was awesome. I didn't think we'd, uh, we'd be able to do it. This guy, though, not going to be quite as cooperative. I can't see shit. <laughs> and... Oh, no. All right. It's all right. We saved. We saved. We can, uh, we can get this guy. That guy, we got him in the head again. These guys are a little bit easier to, uh, like, to, uh, like, get a limb off of than the, uh, the trogs are. The trogs were, like, really hard. I don't know if it's just the hitboxes or if they have more, like, limb HP or, you know, however you want to want to think about that being done. There we go. We finally fucking did it. Holy shit. And we actually didn't even take that much damage. Piece of meat on this guy. Nothing. Can we... Oh, too, his head is too heavy? That's bullshit. I want to fucking take it and punt it. All right, we've got some, some boxes we got to open up here. So there's a little bit more meat, and this will this will be good for going on to the next level. Just got to do one of these little swipes here. There we go. All right. Maybe over here. really don't remember where exactly the... Uh, the meat was. Ah, there we go. There's one. So we'll take this. And then we gotta take ah, a box within a box. It's little Russian <laughs> Russian nesting boxes, I guess. Uh nope, nothing there. Uh yeah, there's a piece of meat in there. And what about this one? Nothing. Alright. We're gonna actually gonna leave this with full HP, I think. Yeah, that's that's incredible. I did not expect that. But that's going to do it uh, for this one. We're going to just go ahead and pull on this rope and uh, get our ass in the elevator. And up we go. But man, yeah, this this level was tough for sure. Um, particularly this last little bit here. Uh, and it took me a while to get those trogs figured out. And I'm actually, I'm glad we skipped the other guy because... Uh, <laughs> this this level could have gone completely differently, but we got a nice upgrade. We got the magic ring, you know, for whatever that's worth. Got a really good score. 
because we got uh, two bonuses, the potion beneath the waterfall and the potion in the tunnel. And we certainly would have failed this mission without them. But uh, yeah, we got the, the ring of shielding and uh, diverted the raft and all that kind of good stuff. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's good. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. When we come back, we'll see where this ele elevator uh, leads. Uh, so until then, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.